Perhaps with the finish in mind, the peloton was quiet and it wasn't until after more than a third of the day's racing that a breakaway group managed to get clear. Combative on stage six, Gianluca Brambia was there again and he was joined by Philippe Gilbert and the Henao cousin Sergio and Sebastian. The group of ten riders built a lead of more than three minutes, less than 50 kilometres from the finish and with three of the day's climbs behind them. Education first's tough lesson on the 2019 Vuelta continued with Sergio Higuita suffering a puncture. Meanwhile, Movistar, led by world champion Alejandro Valverde, led the charge to get back to the leaders, with the GC favourites keen to make a big impression. Sensing the danger from behind, Gilbert and Sergio Henao launched an attack of their own on the Puerto del Salto del Caballo, the penultimate climb of the day. Brambilla clawed his way back into contention, with Sebastian Henao and Michael Storer of Sunweb trailing. Not a good day for the man who started the day in red, Dylan Turns was dropping off the pace. At the front, Sebastian Hinao made it a foursome and with 16 kilometers left, they had a 1 minute, 15 second advantage over their pursuers. Gilbert and Sergio Hinao accelerated again though, and gave themselves a slim advantage at the foot of the final climb. They weren't out on their own for long though. They were finally swept up and Jumbo Visma took command of the race. With three kilometers to go, a heavyweight group of Nairo Quintana, Primoz Roglic, Miguel Angel Lopez and Valverde broke clear. Quintana looked strong, while Rafael Maica was some 20 seconds behind. It was tough to pick a winner from the lead four, but in the end it was the 39-year-old legs of Valverde that proved the freshest, as he left Roglic and Lopez to battle it out for the podium places. Valverde with the win then, Roglic, Lopez and Quintana following, the four overall race favourites coming in 42 seconds ahead of Maika. Less than a minute behind, a great performance from Tade Pogacar and his Team Emirates teammate Fabio Aru. I was very confident, I felt good and when I saw that there were four of us at the front, I said to myself, the worst I can do is finish fourth. Movistar dominant in the mountains then. Valverde even had the help of teammate Quintana as he claimed his 12th Vuelta stage win, the 17th on a major tour of his career. Quintana gave his all for his new team leader with both men boosting their position in the overall race standings. It's Lopez though back at the top of the GC with Roglic close behind and the Movistar duo also in touch. Maika is now fifth, some two minutes down. Fourth place on the day was enough for Quintana to claim the green jersey ahead of Roglic and Sam Bennett. Angel Madrasso had a difficult day. He stays in the polka dot jersey though, but Sergio Hinao is just 12 points behind now. Overall race leader means Lopez is also the race's best young rider. He's back in red, but what surprises will the road to Igualada on stage eight have for him? <laughs>